In this episode, I wanna to talk to you about what adjuster license you should get. As insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance. We're writing estimates, climbing ladders, walking on roofs, and mistakes can happen. What are you going to do when something goes wrong? Kaplicit. CPLIC, or Kaplic for short, is an insurance company for independent adjusters, formed by independent adjusters. They understand our job and the potential problems that can arise. If you want help understanding what coverages you need and to apply for coverage, head over to cplic.net. Hey IAs, it's Chris Stanley of IA Path. You know how most new adjusters cannot break into the industry. They struggle because companies have two to five years worth of experience as a requirement. And how can they get that experience? But don't worry, at iPath, we get that experience waived with our 90-day online mentorship program. If you're interested, head over to iPath.com. All right, figuring out what adjuster license requirements are state by state can be a big headache for a new adjuster. When you first get started, it just feels overwhelming. Some states have their own program, some coordinate with other states, and some don't even require a license. So there's a lot riding on the choice of where to get your first license. Being able to work in multiple states can dramatically increase your earning potential and getting the wrong license can kill your career. Here in this video, I'm gonna simplify this choice so you'll know how to become an insurance adjuster and exactly which license you need to start out getting so you can start working. Now, make sure you watch until the end to find out which adjuster license to get and what you can do to increase your career trajectory exponentially. There's gonna be one tip that could save you years of heartache and tons of headaches. So what insurance adjuster license should you get first? This is an important decision. There are consequences that are extremely painful if you choose the wrong license. Attempting to work as an adjuster without the correct license can result in losing your license, inability to get work, being blocked from holding an adjuster license in the future. Getting an adjuster license is never easy and it takes a fair amount of investment from you in terms of both money and time. It can take weeks and sometimes months to obtain your license and you don't wanna just throw it away all that time and money by getting the wrong adjuster license. So now there's three factors to consider in getting licensed. The answer to what adjuster license to get first is not universal. Contrary to what many online forums and websites proclaim, there are individual factors that determine the correct license and the smartest choice for the adjusting career you want varies. Here are the three questions to answer before we jump into the licensing requirements. Does your home state require a license? Which other states do you wanna work in? And do you want the extra earning potential of working catastrophic claims across the country? Now let's review each of these factors and walk through the state licensing requirements you'll need to build your ideal career. First off, do you live in a licensing or a non-licensing state? This first question is whether your home state requires a license or has a different process. Some states require anyone handling claims to be licensed as an insurance adjuster and other states don't have that requirement. We call states that require an adjuster's license licensing states. Some states have special all lines adjuster licenses that cover any kind of claim while others have separate licenses for different types of insurance claims. States that don't require a license at all are considered non-licensing states, and the process to get started as an adjuster is different. The states that require you to obtain a license are blue on the map on the screen, and states that don't require it are gray. You can also look in the text below. Now, what do you need to do if your state requires a license? If you live in a licensing state, start by finding out your state's process. One of the main steps will be to complete your state's licensing exam. Most of us don't walk around knowing enough of the insurance industry terminology and policy, so you'll need to get prepared for that test. There are two different ways this is handled. 
One, pre-licensing classes, and two, exam prep courses. Exam prep courses prepare you for the exam you'll have to take at a testing facility. Pre-licensing courses are typically 40-hour courses you'll need to complete and include the test. You can complete the exam prep or pre-licensing at training centers around the country or online. If you're looking for an online option, I recommend adjusterpro.com, which can help you prepare for testing in any state in the nation. Here are the few steps you'll need to complete for the majority of licensing state. Purchase an exam prep or pre-licensing course. Complete the exam prep or pre-licensing course. Apply to the state in which you passed the test and submit the following items. Application, test certificate, fingerprint, background check, payment for license, and then receive your license. It can take a few days to a few months to obtain your adjuster license, so be patient. It also helps to follow up with the state every few weeks to ensure there's no issue. The cost associated with the license ranges greatly depending on the state. There are a handful of states that cost less than $100 and others that cost several hundreds of dollars. Choose the right type of license based on the type of work you wanna do. There are a few different options in each state, so be sure to select the license that allows you to handle any type of claim. This is typically called an all lines adjuster license. If you have any doubt about which license to get, you can contact the insurance commissioner's office in your state, Adjuster Pro, or email me, chris at ipath.com. Non-licensing states, places that don't require a license, um, you're going to need to go through this different process. So here's a list of the states that don't require a license. Colorado, the District of Columbia, if you call it a state, Illinois, Iowa, Kansas, Maryland, Missouri, Nebraska, New Jersey, North Dakota, Ohio, Pennsylvania, South Dakota, Tennessee, Virginia, and Wisconsin. But if you wanna work in any other state, whether that's a neighboring state or whether you wanna travel far away for catastrophic claims, you'll need some catastrophic insurance adjuster licenses for those states. You're gonna to need to choose a state to start with though, and we call that your designated home state because your home state doesn't require one, you're gonna choose a state that does. Are you looking for an IA firm where you're not just another number? Let me tell you about our sponsor, CCMS and Associates. CCMS has been called a big mom and pop firm because they care about their adjusters. They also care about results. The CCMS family is dedicated to training and developing a talented adjusting team. If you would like to be a part of their family, email your resume and cover letter and introduce yourself directly to careers at ccmsclaims.com. Now there is reciprocity in adjuster licenses, meaning other states recognize a different state's license. So as an insurance adjuster, you can hold 20 plus adjuster licenses across the country to maximize your work opportunities and options. However, taking 20 tests would be grueling and expensive and super time consuming. So to streamline the process, many states have this reciprocity agreement. Reciprocity is just a fancy word that means a state recognizes another state's licensing requirements. If you pass the exam of a state with similar requirements, they'll waive the need for you to take another test. You'll still need to submit all the necessary documents and payment, but you won't be forced to take another brutal test if the state you obtained your first license in, your designated home state, is reciprocal with a lot of other states. That's why if you live in a non-licensing state, your best option for a designated home state license is one with a high number of reciprocal states. I recommend choosing one of these three states because they have great reciprocity and they're easy to complete online through Adjuster Pro. Florida's pre-licensing class, Indiana and their pre-licensing class, or Texas and their pre-licensing class through Adjuster Pro. I favor Florida and Indiana over the long time licensed king of Texas because they typically will get your license in in less than two weeks. Texas has been known to take a little over a month, but things are changing fast. Now there are other great providers online of adjuster licensing, exam prep, and pre-licensing, but I've not seen any with as extensive of a catalog as Adjuster Pro. So check out their complete list of states and training options at adjusterpro.com. Now what states are reciprocal with Florida, Texas, and Indiana? 
Now, all states that require an adjuster's license are reciprocal if you hold an Indiana, Texas, or Florida license, with the exception of these states, California, Hawaii, and New York. If you want to see an interactive map, just to confirm, you can head over to adjusterpro.com. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love writing along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Myself and a growing list of industry experts will show you how to handle claims with confidence. We know it's hard to find a working adjuster who's going to let you shadow them, which is why we let you write along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Check it out for seven days absolutely free at iPath.com slash TV. Now, if you're wanting to work catastrophic claims, you're probably wondering what licenses should I get? Now, some states are more prone to extreme weather than others, and they generate higher number of claims and work opportunities for catastrophic adjusters. So we can kind of look at where these events happen and make decisions based on that. Now, adjuster licenses to get for hail season, hail falls from March to August. If you're approaching that time of year and looking to be in a better position to work in hail prone states, I recommend getting the following licenses in addition to your home state or designated home state license. Texas, Oklahoma, Kentucky, Minnesota, and Georgia. Adjust your licenses that you should get if hurricane season is approaching are a little bit different. Now you can gain a competitive edge by already holding licenses in states that are frequently affected by hurricanes. The hurricane season is at its peak from June to November. If trying to prepare yourself for work in that time of year, use the reciprocity of your home license to apply for these states, Florida, Texas, Louisiana, South Carolina, and North Carolina. The best state insurance adjuster's license to get, well, there's not really one single license that you can single-handedly change the trajectory of your career. After obtaining your home state or designated home state license, Going for one particular one does really help though. It's almost like money in the bank. This is often referred to as the golden ticket license and that license is New York. Why? Well, the New York adjuster license is not reciprocal with any states. So few people are licensed to handle claims there. Also, it's a hard test to pass and expensive to apply for, but don't let that hold you back from this opportunity. If you complete the New York exam prep by adjuster pro, I'm confident you can pass. Many of my students and apprentices have done it and so can you. Both insurance companies and independent adjusting firms are in a desperate need for adjusters that can settle claims in the state of New York. This can happen on the phone from anywhere in the country. By obtaining the New York license, you just made yourself more valuable by tenfold. The second and third best adjuster licenses to get are valuable for the same reason as New York. They are New Mexico Adjuster's License and the Auto Damage Appraiser's License in Pennsylvania are extremely valuable. If you combine your home state with New York, New Mexico, and Pennsylvania's Motor Vehicle Damage Appraiser's License, you'll have what I like to call the licensing trifecta. You'll have plenty of work coming your way. My name is Chris Stanley and we at IAPATH are dedicated to giving you actionable advice on how to have an amazing adjusting career that will help you break into the insurance industry so you can obtain freedom in your career and life. If you need help learning how to get work, head over to iPath.com and click the how to find work button. We'll send you a free video course that shares insider tips on how to get started. And until next week, keep walking your path and claiming your life.